audio. All right, just doing a test here um, to all you fine folks out there this evening. Um, just give me a moment here while I set up everything so that I can communicate better with you and we can have a better experience uh, of doing on this two stuff. Like, how cool is that? Uh, so, yeah. Now I'm listening to myself off screen. Alright, I think uh, I think I'm good. First off, uh, I want to start off by saying thank you to all you amazing people out there that have like made uh, Ambus 2 a possibility. Like, 12 years ago, I said to a couple uh, uh, of the cast, I said, we're going to come back, we're going to make a sequel someday. It's going to be epic, it's going to be, you know... But how do you come back from a film like that? Like, Ambus 1 was such a huge, like... I, I can't... Undertaking. It was, it was much bigger than just one person, and the amount of people... Pardon me as I adjust my shirt to a seem a little more professional... But, uh, and feel free to comment, too, because uh, I'm just kind of, like, enjoying this, this next few minutes here of, of trying to do this, uh, this, this little look at Ambus, like, where we're at right now. So, like, uh, we just finished wrapping up the film. So the film has been totally shot, and it's super exciting because there is some amazing effects in this movie. I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, and you'll be able to see, you know, soon enough, so to speak, uh, some amazing and interesting uh, <laughs> things are heading your way. So, um, hello out there. It's good to see you, or good to have you connect out there. So, I'm going to give you a little, little excitement mark thing here. Can I do that? Because I'm trying to do, like, two things here at once. Let's see here. Well, I'll just say... Hey, <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh, you know what? Because, I, again, I, it's been a while since I've used Streamlabs, and I'm just kind of getting back into it. So let me see if I can just sign in here real quick. And then, you know, we'll make this experience even that much more better because I can just, okay, all right, I think we're good now. All right, all right, cool. All right, so anyways, uh, Ambus 2, uh, doing really good here. Um, yeah, Ambus, Ambus 1, to see you, uh, I got to give you a good heart there uh, because Ambus 1 is like, that was a tough film. And uh, the fact that you have seen it so many times and you would appreciate it and enjoy it, um, I can only tell you that the sequel is going to be so much, like, I, I can't describe the sequel as I as well as I could describe the original. The original, uh, all I could say was epic. During the filming of this movie, I, all I was saying was, uh, we're making like a blockbuster. So this whole thing... Uh, it is very formulaic because there's so much that worked for the first film that now we're making a second film and it is really exciting to, to do. Like, for instance, let's just take a moment and let's look at the poster. Because this is the poster for Ambus 2 uh, that will that is getting released. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool, if you don't mind me saying. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is the, the poster that was going to get released. Now, why is this so cool? Well, let's go and just take a, a take a gander here at uh, Ambus One's poster, all right? Because Ambus One uh, was also another unique film, and check out this poster. So you have a very like the vibe feels the vibe feels right. So you got this one and you got this one, but notice something super super crazy not crazy super exciting about the the differences is like the color palette is so much different so you're looking at right now 
the color palette for the first film, which is kind of like dingy and, you know, rough around the edges, uh, where now the next one shows a younger generation. And, man, it brings back Haley. Haley is back, uh, played by Paige Cummings, and she is no joke. If you uh, have seen any of Paige's work, um, and we're going to look at something in just a few minutes that talks about that. Um, you know, that is it's just another real exciting thing. Let me just see here. We got some more comments. I appreciate you. Uh, is it, can I call you dark? Is it, does it, uh, did, did you mind if I call you the dark sky, the dark, the dark one? Oh, the dark one. Um, let's see here. You say here, uh, so did you plan on making two after the first one? Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I wrote. I've written like uh, like twelve, I feel like drafts of the of an original script that just they didn't work. They felt too much like the thing, like um, John Carpenter's The Thing. So I started not really, I don't know. I started getting away from that because I felt like the first film, because we were destroying the city, was so big and grandiose. It, it was like, let's go something more simple. But when you see this film, this film is anything but simple. That is for sure. And you're going to have to pardon me because I have editors, uh, you know, goody stuff all stashed around me uh, so that I can keep myself up and going. But anyways, really cool. Uh, there's a lot of Easter eggs in this. If you're a true fan of the original film, of this poster... If you look real closely, one of my favorite things, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share what my favorite thing on this poster is, if I can even zoom in it any more than I can, right here. If you look at the sign, it actually says Metzberg One Mile, and to me that is so cool. Like we were able to upgrade and actually show something more from Metzberg in this <laughs> original poster. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, there's that story. I will tell you that uh, there are so many good scenes in the sequel that are shot so like clean. There's no noise. Where the first film had a lot of noise because we didn't know what we were doing. None of us knew what we were doing. We were just filming with a camera. Um, you're glad to see she has, but yes, um, she yes she has a way bigger role in Ambus Two than she did in she does in Ambus One. And um, it, it's really kind of kind of fun because uh, she, you know we use prop weapons and stuff, but uh, and, and look at my shorts because I think uh, and I don't mean look at my shorts I mean look at my short video feeds because um, there's a video of her behind the scenes just shooting uh, the the machine gun and it it exhausts like smoke and it looks so authentic and. That was like one of the greatest things about making Amis too is if we were gonna do it, we had to do it in a way that felt true to the original, and gave it something more. But how do you go bigger? <laughs> That's the question I kept trying to write for for like twelve years. How can you go bigger? But uh, I luckily, uh, my lovely wife came along. And she has thrown in a lot of input into some of these story structures. And, like, she kind of wrote her own version of Ambus 2 back in 2016. Now, keep in mind, Ambus 1 was in 2013, and we shot it in 2012, and it was written in 2011. So it's, it's a long period of time for that to go. And it was very inspired by the blob. Um, something that like uh, the 80s blob that I just uh, latched onto and was like there's got to be some kind of way that I can do my own unique spin on this and it just be like these people are turning into slime and then they turn into slime monsters and creatures anyways all that's good um, and yeah original cast is returning we got Sarah Menzel is returning as Lucy Greenheart Jason John Beebe, who we left at as a cliffhanger 12 years ago. We left him at it as a cliffhanger. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's, that is, that is a good, I don't want to spoil too much on his, uh, but to have him return was great. Um, 
we have other we have other surprises in store for you. Um, some returning characters that may or may not have been in the first film that may or may not have been, you know, in a scene where they may have not been killed off, may or may not have. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I can't tell you who it is either because you could probably guess a trillion of those characters from the first film. That's the, that's the great thing about Amos 1 is Amos 1 has so much good character development and story structure and, and like, uh, there's a scene in, in the police car. The scene in the police car is by far the, the one of my favorite things to watch because it, it's just one of those scenes that um, I cannot take all the credit for that one. Uh, Terry Kimmel, who was a co-writer on that first film, uh, helped write that scene. And when he wrote that scene, uh, or excuse me, when he rewrote that scene, because I, I had kind of did a, like an out, outer draft, police car scene, all that. And then we're like, well, how are we going to get a police car, right? So uh, we just went to the police station and asked them if we could. And they said yes. So <laughs> that's how we got a police car. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, Terry Kimmel came up with this very, like, endearing uh, thing. And I think that is why um, we went with Haley's story so much is because there was such a good, like, story to be told about, like, Haley's future. And, um, yeah, so, anyways, I'm kind of, like, going, babbling about that. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I, you can, you can send any questions, oh, great, dark one, one. Um, I appreciate the feedback, uh, anybody can, um, you know, I appreciate any type of feedback. This is the first time ever really doing a full live, but I feel like, uh, there's a lot of interest in Ambus and a lot of interest in Ambus too. Then maybe I'll do a couple more like live videos like this throughout our time. But uh, okay, so hit me with the question. Oh, you got it already. Here, let's see here. What does the question say? Okay. So this says so the main alien in the first one. What exactly was he trying to do? Because it seemed like he was there to kill, but also he killed the zombie and the slime infected. Yeah. Well, he. You're going to find out more in Obvious 2, but he is like a, a scientist who created a bioweapon, but an alien bioweapon. Uh, if you've ever seen Horrific Evil Monsters, you're introduced to a character named Obi. Obi returns, played by Will Nemi, once again, in this film in a much bigger capacity, and uh, it tells the story of how he was a slave to uh, create this um, bioweapon, this alien bioweapon um, that kills planets. In the first film, there's like a quote somewhere, uh, I think Mr. Gray says it, uh, you know, that's the reason why we believe there's no life on Mars. So, like, that was a really cool thing to think about um, as well. You know, it's just more world building. And since we're here, I have to show you this. Somebody made me this. Off screen, I'm a big like action figure guy. Uh, you can maybe tell some of my Godzilla's back there, Dawn of the Dead poster, that sign. But check out the nemesis that somebody sent me. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, he's not too dusty. I've been so busy, I've not been able to really do much with them other than just put them up on the shelf. But one of my favorite, like, I mean, they did so good on this. Anyways, I'll just put him back there. All right. Um, so. You're going to find out more in Ambas 2 why this guy, the nemesis, took Mark. Because uh, there is a reason. And I, again, I don't want to spoil too much. But you only have to really wait, hopefully, till June of 2025. At the latest, October of 2025. But, um, you know, that's just uh, that's just where that, that whole project is at. Uh, so, it, basically, it got loose from the asteroid that came to Earth, which uh, wasn't supposed to come to Earth. The protocol was he was to come to Earth to eradicate the entire thing, which, uh, why you see the spaceships kind of towards the end, and wait till you see the spaceships in Ambas 2. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say right there. Um, or even some of the... some of the exp there, there are some scenes... Um, 
the, and check out my uh, short videos again on this. There's some short videos I have of some of the actors that gave like little teases of some of the digital effects that we've already kind of put together and you know they're already done. And uh, you know maybe we'll watch that. Maybe uh, maybe I can do that. Uh, we can bring that up. But before we get into all that, uh, I figured since we kind of talked about the poster, uh, make sure you check out our IMDb because. We also had another really cool exclusive come out, and this one is kind of cool because this scene is maddening. This is this is uh, General uh, Sanford, um, uh, and he is just he's a menace. Uh, he is just uh, uh, one of those types of characters that is a good villain played by an amazing, talented man. Timothy Dugan. Um, I'm not going to... I mean, he's obviously up to something in the bathroom there, obviously. I don't know what that could be. But, uh, you know, he's got a gun. So there you go. Uh, again, it's a prop. So don't don't freak out over that. It is a prop. Um, and then we can move on here. Let's, uh, let's see here. There was one other one I thought would be good to show, but maybe I, I haven't released it yet. Uh, this is a this is a clip from the film as well. Uh, this is part of some alien wreckage that is happening, so that, that is something. Anyways, get get a chance explore the our our, our uh, IMDb and uh, really kind of get a vibe for it. So, let's go to this. This is our Indiegogo. Now currently we're at twenty six thousand uh, fifty dollars. We've made the entire film. Now we have to finish the post. So we're trying to work together uh, with anybody that may be willing or interested. We have a ton of new perks coming out. Right now there's only like three. Uh, if you look at, at the time of recording this, um, starting off with like just a, a shout out, we would appreciate it. If you want a signed poster, this is awesome, a signed poster by the entire cast and crew, uh, we only have three there that is two and then we are looking for a fully producer basically somebody to fund the the work that needs to be done for fully um, but if you haven't seen this page definitely check it out because I like to share a lot of exclusives on this this was a, an interview that I did for um, a local news channel that came out uh, really cool thing um, this is another behind the scenes look at uh, the Crete uh, of uh, Nicole uh, shooting towards something, but I won't tell you what. You can watch us on the news. We were on the news. That was good, too. The, these videos are all on our, my page as well. The point I'm trying to make is take a look at them. If you're interested in Ambas 2, there's so much that I'm releasing uh, on a daily uh, you know, occurrence. Even get a chance to see some slime creatures. And, man, we've got some good slime creatures in this one. Um, I, I, in the first film, there were a couple of slime creatures that I was kind of like, eh, I wasn't super happy with certain looks of this or that. And then there were some that Phil and Jill, who, um, I got to just point them out here, right here, and Jill and Phil, uh, came back to do the sequel and they, uh, absolutely like nailed everything. So kudos to them and very excited to show that with that being said i want to go to some like you know i'm i don't mind talking negative press i don't mind talking positive press so we're going to look at a positive and a negative uh press if you will about ambas 2 and mind you there's not much released besides the stuff on uh the limited press releases that we send out uh, that really no one else has picked up on at late as of late. So, because we haven't really sent anything. But uh, we're obviously getting to a point now where that happens. So, the first one, we'll look at this. This one gets me. And I appreciate James. Uh, I don't know James. And uh, I don't, uh, I'm not endorsing the website in any fashion, of course. I just wanted to take a minute to, to see what people are talking about. Okay. Um, so, 20 most anticipated horror movies of 2025, and the, and it starts off pretty great. 
And it makes me excited as a filmmaker to see this headline. It says, the future of horror is looking bright. And then we get down into this here. Uh, throughout uh, 2024 and, and already spawned a few solid horror flicks, it looks like the best are still to come. With uh, Terrifier 3, Alien Romulus, A Quiet Place Day 1, Maxine. I'm going to tell you what. I would dis I would debate that with this individual that that these movies right here are going to be like super amazing. And I'm gonna even tell you um, I do like the Terrifier concept, although I haven't been able to watch them. So uh, 2025 might uh, seem pretty far off, but things are already shaping up pretty nicely on the horror front, since certain entities uh, and excuse me. Again, I've been editing all day here. Let me try this again. Uh, since certain entries on the list won't be released for quite some time, some information surrounding casts and plots may be a little uncertain. However, the few details that have been unveiled about these upcoming slasher zombie films and supernatural dramas are exciting. Okay, I'm not going to read the rest of the part of that. But they start off at number 20. So let's see what they're saying uh, from number 20. And they got a 388 logo on here, so that's interesting. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, we didn't send them this photo, but uh, that's okay. I don't mind them using it. Ambus Alien Invasion, also known as Not Human, comes across as the sci-fi horror equivalent of The Room. Now, I don't know if I see that. First off, I've never seen The Room, so I can't say that I see that. Second off, I think the whole concept of the movie The Room is stupid. And I don't think I would watch that as a moviegoer. So with that being said, I can't really compare to that uh, in any fashion. Um, but moving on, with its incomplete special effects, amateur lighting, embarrassing acting, and, and this clunker makes Asylum films look, well, not good, but watchable. And could easily be, easily be mistaken as a spoof if not for the fact that all the all the work of the director, Adam R. Steigert, that's me, by the way, is equally awful. I love that. I love that. But there is a plus. He, everybody is open to their own interpretation. Maybe my films are not your, your, your taste. But he goes on to say, however, <laughs> you notice how this is in like big, bold letters, uh, and these are in small. However, there is no denying Ambus is entertaining. Every aspect of the film, from the nonsensical plot to the ridiculously delivered line, uh, of lines, highlights why this gem fa uh, falls into the so bad it's good category. I'll take it. I'll take it. And what did he end up ha having here? Oh, this is my favorite. We just we got to end on this one because this this is the last thing that he liked uh, James put on here. Since the self-proclaimed visionary director. I'm curious on where he's getting that from. Self-proclaimed visionary director. Uh, because there there was a trailer released many years ago on Amaz 1 that was from visionary director, which I, I think that I think this is what this trailer is. Yeah, this is this trailer. Um, that is not a quote that I made up. <laughs> so it is a quote that I use as a badge of honor for sure. If you were a visionary, somebody for sure would definitely... Uh, you know, it'd be an honor to use. So whatever to that. So self-proclaimed visionary director is returning to for a sequel. Uh, Ambas 2 could be 2025's funniest movie, unintentional, of course. Now, I'm going to put that to the test. Uh, hopefully uh, this boy James here will uh, do a follow-up and, uh, you know, let me know how terrible of a job we did on the film because... It employed about 70 people, and it took a lot of work for those individuals and me and, and the crew to, to make the film possible. Uh, but you know what? I am looking forward to hearing what James says next year. That's what I'm waiting for. So, with that being said, let's go back to positive news. Here is some good news uh, to kind of put out there. There she is. Haley Greenheart, she's back. The Post Journal. This is a, a great experience is the title. So here's some positive uh, feedback. 
uh, Jamestown Native Film uh, Films first uh, feature in Buffalo. Say that three times fast. Jamestown Native Film first feature in Buffalo. Those three Fs gets me. I get it. Anyways, um, here she is, uh, Haley Greenhouse herself, uh, Paige Cummings as her character in Ambas 2. Uh, man, there's her with the machine gun, and we definitely used that machine gun to its total... I mean, I don't think we could have done much more with it than we did on this one. But let's just see what they're saying over here. Okay, so here they're saying... Now, keep in mind, I'm actively editing. As soon as we get off this, this t thing, I'm going to go back into the editing room and continue doing things. But I had to take this break because I wanted to really see what things were being said. So for this situation, let's just read a couple blurbs from it. Um, let's, write, let's start off right at the top. Uh, fans of the 2013 science fiction horror film Ambus Alien Invasion have been waiting years for a sequel. This sequel, Ambus Alien Invasion 2, has just wrapped up uh, filming in Buffalo, and uh, one of the main stars of the movie is a Jamestown native, Paige Cummings. The uh, movie's not called Ambus Alien Invasion 2, but it has been underneath the working title, Ambus Alien Invasion 2. So there is no harm, no foul there. That's the way that we're selling it. So it's happening like that. Uh, let me see here. We got some comments on it. Let's just catch up on this here a little bit. Oh, Dark One, I appreciate you. You know that. And I appreciate all this information, uh, all this communication that... Uh, or I appreciate all the conversation, I should say. Uh, because, you know, I'm making these films for people like you uh, or anybody that enjoys these types of films. I don't try to make a spoof film. That's not what I go out to do. I try to make the best film possible. Um, on this one, just the CGI uh, was as good as we could do at the time as artists. And uh, somehow it found a way, just like... What is it? Uh, Jurassic Park. Somehow life finds a way. So there you go. Uh, I got to pause for a second before we keep going here. Look at this. My official Ambas um, 2 crew tag. It survived the entire uh, endeavor. Really great. Made it through. Super happy. Uh, it is uh, very cherished. Uh, I thank the Buffalo Niagara Film Commission and the West Seneca Chamber of Commerce, which we could look at as well if you're interested in a scene. I wonder if they posted anything about that. We'll have to see. Uh, we'll do a follow-up on that in this uh, thing here. Uh, it does go on to, to elaborate on Paige's amazing record and credibility, best supporting actress in Greece. I mean, come on. In Greece. So a little more about Ambas 2. She shared another exclusive, which is totally great. Ambas 2 Alien Invasion, uh, or Ambas, now, now I got me all mixed up saying it. Ambas Alien Invasion 2 will be Cummings' first feature film. Uh, filming took place in Buffalo from June 28th to 20, or 14th to 20th, allowing Cummings to return to the area for the first time. Uh, she said filming went well. Well, I'm very happy she thought the project went well. Uh, she, uh, Paige that is, has been one of those actresses I've literally been working with uh, for, it feels like three, maybe even four years of trying to get them, meaning her, the film, all together. In fact, Paige is a real big reason why, why I kept writing the Haley Greenheart character because she was so strong as, a, as an actress. And uh, she reread the... Uh, car scene from Ambus 1 when we were doing auditions and she did several auditions and I'm thankful that she did um, because we just you know looking at things from far she's in LA we're in Buffalo you know there's a big uh, indie community and there is more films being shot now in Buffalo uh, she's out in LA first feature film is in Buffalo maybe she'll return you never know but she is really definitely somebody uh, that if you're an uh, uh, like a filmmaker, that you should definitely get yourself to work with. A uh, little bit more about what she has to say. It was a great experience, and I learned a lot. Uh, Cummings said it was a primarily done on blue screen, so it was a challenge to work with a blank slate and add in everything else after. It was a lot of fun, and I got to work with some great people. And she's not lying. This film has some great people on it. I, some of these people are just, 
They are the best people. A little more about it. Um, she does go on to say this. Uh, uh, the first film, the 2013 film, where an alien invasion was taking over the world. The second film, Cummings' character, Haley Greenheart, sets out to expose the truth about the government cover-up and, uh, and what really happened during the invasion. The movie is uh, set to release in June of 2025. It is pending June of 2025 when we do our green carpet event, but it could be October. Um, in the future, uh, she does have some more things that she's got coming up. This is actually the second time I worked with Paige. She did a very small cameo scene in Horrific Evil Monsters slash Fang. It was the same sh same scene in both films. But uh, that's where I, like, I, I noticed her from. And we stayed in contact for quite a few years, uh, just kind of talking back and forth, because I had always pictured her as uh, the adult version of, of, uh, of Haley Greenheart. So it's really great that she put so much into it. This... Now this one, this one, I'm surprised she released, uh, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Uh, this is Angel Bradford, another uh, up and coming, not even up and coming. She's already there, horror actress, and uh, that is Cat uh, Martinez in the background holding her legs up with sticks, and basically, I don't want to spoil anything, but she's being sucked into something. And Paige's character is trying to save her from getting sucked into that. Uh, probably a little bit of a spoiler. We'll let it slide, Paige, because we love you. And it's great to see Angel. Uh, she just, she just, uh, she kills it. Um, so very cool about that. Uh, yes, Kevin, Mc yes, yes, McConnor, yes, oh yes. Um, let me just get on some of these Pardon myself for one second here. Um, I just want to see uh, some of these messages here. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, very good dude. Um, I would definitely work with him again. Um, uh, Caleb, that is. And uh, I always uh, pronounce names pretty terribly, so I hope I got it right that time. Uh, he is a professional professional uh, actor, and um, you know I have a lot of respect for him because there was a lot of physicality to the role that he plays. It's not a huge role, but it's definitely a role that um, is going to stand out, and I think people will be like, oh, you... And then that is like my motion for like, I don't want to give anything away, but it could be good and it could be bad. So <laughs> um, anyways, we should look up and see here uh, if there was anything more about. Um, and then just a reminder here is our Indiegogo page. Um, but uh, let's just see if we can find uh, that article. Let's Seneca uh, Chamber of Commerce. Let's just see if we can't find this. Because we did have an article on there, and I wonder if they ended up posting any pictures or anything from the, the shoot. Okay, so here's this. This is the one, I think this is the first one, May 30th. Yeah, so this is the one that like they released a statement uh, for, uh, which, which had a press release on it. Pretty cool. Um, here are some amazingly talented people that you should look into. These production companies, um, all of them pretty much Buffalo. Uh, we have uh, 388 Studios, which is a company I work with. Macrocosm Productions, Mindy Productions, Aaron Dre Gaming, Aaron Dre Gaming, excuse me, uh, Smart Luck Productions, and Icons of Pop Culture Auctions. Uh, all of them are, all of these companies are bringing this film uh, to life in a way that you will never uh, expect to see coming. We are working with CFX for like the prosthetics and the uh, some of the uh, creature costumes, and then we have obviously the great Datu is on set, and he is um, uh, he well he did uh, do all of our fight coordination. 
So it's pretty cool because um, we did employ quite a few people um, in Buffalo. Um, you know, that, the thing I would say with that is uh, you often get overlooked uh, when there's other bigger projects happening in Buffalo at the same time. Um, so, you know, that that is part of the business, I guess you could say. But, um, yeah, that that is really it. Let's see. I don't think anybody else is talking anything, uh, anything more ambas out there. That's just like a quick, you know, take a look here. I mean, I'll just look real quick. But I don't think there's any more ambas talk. I'm just too, uh, yeah, I don't think there is. But th this is the, uh, uh, oh, what's this? This is a video I have not seen. That's... Hi everyone, Nerdy Hillbilly here. I uh, just got done shooting on set for Ombus 2 Alien Awakening. Tell me we can um, hear this. If you want, go check out Ombus Alien Invasion. Uh, that would be the first movie. You can watch it on Tubi, you can watch it on YouTube. Um, great sci-fi movie if you're into alien movies. Um, and then when the sequel comes out, see yours truly on the big screen. Okay, well, there's that. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um... I wonder if there's anything else. I'm, now you got me wanting to look more into this. Uh, let's see here. You know, sometimes it, it's not about an ego. It's about knowing what is being talked about and knowing um, what the culture is asking for. You know, we still got a year before this film comes out. So with that and knowing where the story and the effects are and the script and all that, you have to start to think about, like if you have to make changes to things to make the audience more exciting. Uh, this film, like, I specifically um, did, like, every 15 seconds, there's, like, some type of huge, uh, you know, grab your grab yourself uh, moment, like, oh, my God, I, I cannot believe I'm watching this part. Uh, so I tried to keep that element up enough to make the illusion, you know, that, to, to make you want to watch the film and enjoy it because that's what I'm doing that's all I want to do is I want to entertain you and and make you as a viewer uh, take you like on a journey uh, away from you know the mundanes of society and life uh, and there, there's no harm in any of that um, so I hope uh, you appreciate that because I do a lot of work on that to try to make it happen let's see uh, let's Buffalo Scoop what's this Buffalo Scoop Oh, this is just a, a reprint of that. Anything else? I mean, there's just videos out there uh, you can watch. I feel like this isn't even Chrome. Is this not Chrome? From Microsoft Bing? When did that happen? Anyways, a um, lot of cool things. I got, I, I'm just showing a picture here because I know it's close enough. But um, right here. To see the sisters together, like for the first time, uh, all grown up, uh, was a really great, like awesome experience. It just was. It was just a very awesome experience. And then, um, obviously, you have to do the political element of things. Chamber of Commerce made it possible that we were able to rent this location, shoot the film out there. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you're going to start seeing, my hope, uh, I'm just looking at the comments, uh, my hope is that you will see a trailer by Christmas time, uh, like the first trailer, because generally you want to do movie trailers by six months, so that is my hope. Um, oh, Obi has a whole new wardrobe in this film. Uh, very excited about it, because my wife, a couple other people, they all gave me shit about some of it, but when they see it on camera, all of a sudden it looks amazing. So, <laughs> you know what? I still got it. Don't you let them? Don't you let them tell you different? Um, so there's that. Uh, what else we got here? Another good video to watch here too is of the three ladies uh, watching some playback. 
uh, very fun times. So very excited about it. Uh, so just a lot of excitement happening. Uh, I'm thinking that we're going to have to try and raise uh, another $4,000. I'm thinking if we can come up with $4,000 for post-production, I think that is going to make this film even that much better. Uh, we're still okay on the budget, but it would be a little bit better if we can make like these last-minute epic updates and changes and corrections and, and uh, you know, just add something a little more for the audience to be grossed out about <laughs> or should i say uh, enjoy of course um be sure to check out our page here discuss our plans um of course me and my beautiful wife look at her with her red hair by the way i like her red hair the most there's a huge debate online about it so if you do see her or know of her just make sure you let her know that the red hair needs to stay and um so there's that uh, a couple of our, our people here. Uh, but the one thing I did not like talk about, which is very exciting, and I you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait for this. But Alexander McBride, he returns. And he uh, did post on the good old TikTok here. Uh, let me just see. Uh, give me a second here. And there's a video uh, from oh. hold on a second. Let me just put it up here. All right, give me a minute. I thought it was really kind of cool. So let's hope that uh, I can show you it. And then I, I guess I'll wrap it up. Um, but where is it? Oh. I'm not used to TikTok Studio yet. I'm trying with it, but it's just, uh, you know, say lovey. Posts. Uh, comments. Where the hell? I can. I should just be able to look for somebody. Alex. Let's see here. Oh, there's no results for Alex McBride. Come on. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Uh, what am I doing wrong? How do I search on this damn thing? I mean, well, where are we going wrong here, folks? Somebody in the chat, please, like, let me know why I'm, like, a little handicapped here. I can't seem to find um, the search feature. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Sorry about that. That just happened to be <laughs> Katina uh, destroying somebody. Uh, all right, so I'm, I'm making progress, though. Uh, Alexander. Because I have to do everything back way because I'm using the computer and not um, my phone. So I have to, like, you know, do things all differently here. And it sucks. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. There we go. Now we're making some progress. Now we're making some progress. Okay. All right. So this is the video. Hold on. Hold on. Don't. Oh, don't. Yeah, I gotta wait here. Uh, now how do I share this? Okay. Share. share. No, 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 no. Send to friends. I just want the damn. Here we go. I think we're good, folks. Here it is. Here's a look at Mr. Gray. I'm not going to play the audio because I'm not sure if there's issues with audio. But look at him. Took some pictures of himself from set. This is the progress of his his makeup and all that. Um, let me tell you, uh, it is one of those characters that is so grotesque and so like over the top that um, you're going to be super excited to see him return. Um, that is part of his wardrobe. You can get a good look at that. He does end up getting his shirt off, which is, you know, something I told him had to happen during, <laughs> you know, because he's such a fit guy, you know. So uh, 
There you go. There's some pictures that he, he did share. You should follow some of these actors. Some of these actors are good to follow. Uh, but there's a really good shot of him. And, you know, instead of the blood for the teeth like a zombie would have, we go with the green, which is, you know, obviously for um, to make it more PG-friendly, I guess you could say. Um, but anyways, that is it. I'm going to wrap up now. Thank you all for being a part of this. Um, I would like to do more of this. If you would like to do more of this, um, I could talk about any movie that you want to talk about, really, and talk, you know, in the sense of the movies that I've made. I could talk about movies in general, but then I'd just be at another one of those, those, those guys that makes movies about. Did you know that this movie had this and movies? Yeah, we know. We already have that. Let's do something fresh. Let's do something new. Let's uh, let's have a community of uh, of, of of conversation. Anyways, friends, I think that is going to end our conversation. But uh, before I go, before I switch off the screen here, uh, I want you to take a moment because I'm going to flip this card off and a song is going to play. It's about five minutes long, and I do want to hear your feedback. Please let me hear your feedback, and if you think we should put it into the movie um, and uh, put it in the chat. So I'm going to bid you farewell for now, and I love you all, but take a listen to the song and help me decide. On the streets of Metzburg, a hush did fall. The shadows from the heavens did befall. Ships like demons came.
on the streets of Metzburg, a hush did fall. 